What is up guys, welcome to the video. Today we are gonna be going to a baseball game here in Okinawa, Japan. Like I said last video, we don't have any of the professional teams here that actually play during the regular season, but they have spring training here in Okinawa. So we're gonna go see the Chunichi Dragons, which we did see in Tokyo earlier last year versus the Hokkaido Fighters. Should be a pretty awesome game. I'll definitely show you guys a little bit of the game and then we'll do a little bit of exploring around here in American Village, maybe do some car spotting afterwards. We are a little late actually arriving to the game. I mean, the game hasn't started yet, but the gate's open an hour and a half ago. The game starts in about 20 minutes. A lot of people here, all televised as well. Mason just got a Japanese baseball from one of the guys. I guess he might be a scout or something. He's been sitting down here in this area. He said we got a root for the fighters. But he got a pretty cool Japanese baseball. That's pretty sweet. Now the dragons are up and we have some left-handed hitters so I'm keeping my glove on right now just in case we have a chance of a foul ball coming back here. Now the fighters are up two to one after back-to-back -back home runs when the Dragons brought in a new pitcher. Back to back to back home runs. That is crazy. Three home runs in a row give the fighters a three to one lead. Great catch, that was awesome. Right now we are in the bottom of the six, still three to one with the fighters leading. Got a lefty up, so of course I got the glove on just in case. Let's see what happens here. Got a runner on first with two outs. Could tie it up with the home run here. Ooh, foul ball right back towards us if it had been up a little bit and get over the screen, maybe we could get one. first. Blocked by the cameraman, but he is out. Very close to that pickoff move. I kind of missed it, but apparently they called him safe. Called him out at first, safe at second though. We are now in the bottom of the eighth. It is still three to one, the fighters. 
the fighters got their first hit that wasn't a home run. They have four hits, three of those being a home runs, but now we are up with the Dragons up to bat in the bottom of the eighth. It's a long foul ball. That's a home run. Home run, Dragons. Three to two ball game, boys. Off the foul pole. First runner advances to third. Two outs, runner stranded on third. Next guy up is number 21. I can't tell his name from here, but everybody's cheering for him. There's a lot of people videoing for him, so let's get a video of this guy. Number three. Time to see if the Dragons can score four or five runs here. Line out to center for the first out. Fly out for the second out is what it looks like here. Yep. Two outs. This is it. This might be it. Safe. that home run that puts us in six to four still in the bottom of the ninth two outs three balls two strikes bottom of the ninth two outs down by two that's a base hit it's gonna bring the tying run to the plate potential last batter of the game potential tying run to the plate got the glove on because it is a lefty Boom, game over. Hokkaido Fighters win. Great game. Look at the bat. Go check it out, Mason. Go give it a high five. Go touch it. Go. Just go touch it like he is. Go. Go give him a hug. Give that guy a hug. Watch out from here. Now that we're done with the baseball game, we're exploring the area over here around American Village. Mason's checking out his bird friends. A beautiful afternoon at the beach, 70 degrees here in February. Interesting sign here by the Hilton. Blowing off the engine, loud stereo, yelling and other such actions disrupts the 
peace of the neighborhood and its residents. Please refrain from such acts. Check out that sweet car. So we're probably not gonna walk the whole way home because that would be quite a walk. We're about probably, I don't know, eight miles from the house, but there's a nice 370Z Nismo version right there. The 370 Nismo sitting over here at the Enos gas station. One of the more popular gas stations here in Japan. Nice purple wheels on that thing, look at that. Fancy. Doing a little bit of car spotting here. We got a Volkswagen van, look at that thing. What? Don't call Spencer? Me. Don't call me Spencer. You call me Dada. Dada. Go on the back. You put the white on the black. This is okay. The yellow is just where blind people stop. Oh. We have the Nissan dealership right here. That's where I've ordered those new hoses I'm waiting on. Should be here any day now. There's also a blue Lotus out there. I saw that car by the house the other day and it was actually while I was shooting a video, but I was trying to get it on video. Couldn't because he turned off just before I could get it, but pretty interesting car. And then we have the yellow hat, which is kind of like an auto zone with a nice Sylvia sitting out front. Sometimes having a couple drinks and just walking down these random Japanese streets is my favorite time in Japan. Getting to experience the little details of Japan that you don't normally see when you drive by. Mason just having a fun time cracking up and running around is pretty awesome. We have previously visited that dealership in a cars for sale video. The S15 and the TVR right there up front. Pretty sweet cars, check out that video if you haven't. <laughs> Quick stop at the pet store to entertain Mason. Got a little mouse in here. Some guy sleeping, a little hamster. A Syrian hamster. A Richardson ground squirrel. He's pretty happy. He looks happy, look at him. Look at him, come here. I know. Look at him, he looks happy to see you. Uh, he can't get out now. I mean now. And he said something. Cool. Keeping on walking, we've been to Form 1 before. I stopped at a video there before. They have some pretty nice cars. We have grabbed some dinner. We got some Wing King. Some delicious wings we're going to eat when we get to the house. Stopped at the Family Mart, got a couple more drinks. And we're just walking up the street, I guess, until we decide to get too tired and just get a taxi all the way back. Yeah. Nice little Alteza. And the random video continues into the next day because we got home, ate our chicken wings, and then went to sleep a couple hours later. And I've been up since actually like four o'clock this morning playing Fortnite on PS4. I don't know if any of you guys are playing that. I even saw that some YouTubers are sponsored by Fortnite to like mention it. I'm definitely not, but I've just really been enjoying playing Fortnite. And if any of you guys do, I'm on PS4. But as you can see, we're in a van. It's a Mazda MPV, Megan's car. We took it to the shop so they could put in a new water pump. It's more than we could do here with limited space and only being able to own one car at a time we borrowed our friend's car but now we are heading to the shop to pick up the car everything's finished we're gonna go pick up the evo and take a look at it and it's been painted since the last time you guys have really seen any bit of the car so i'll show you guys the car today out here at typhoon motors just pulled up there's the evo looking all nice and fresh it's actually really dirty we haven't washed it in about the month since the paint job but I mean, you're kind of not supposed to wash a car right or a paint job. So we'll get a little closer look at that in a little while. Do have a few other cars out here. Fairy Lady Z, Subaru, the Delica, the B4. Also have a nice Civic over there. Also got a Chaser over there. A little K car with a hood scoop. The Evo behind us looking good. That Evo booty is looking pretty good now. I think finally after owning it for three years, it's a pretty solid car and whoever the next buyer is, is really gonna enjoy it. Got the four door R34 Skyline. We are now back at the house and check out the Evo. Freshly cleaned up, freshly painted. Looking absolutely beautiful. The Evo has not shined like this in years. As you guys can see, this thing is absolutely gorgeous right now with the red and the black hood. The paint is looking phenomenal. 
I wish this was a keeper for the rest of our lives, but the next owner is definitely going to be happy about this car and the condition it's in. And the next owner really should be able to take it back if they just got here. Import legal in about two years and a few months. If any of you guys are inbound, I know I've already had some interest in it, but we'll be selling it in April and we'll probably be asking around 6,000 US dollars for it. Lots of new parts on it, new water pump. The timing belt was changed right before we got the car. Evo 6 turbo, lots of little extras that you guys can message me about and I can give you the info on. But it is looking nice now. Still waiting on the parts to come for the GTR to fix the leak. Should be here any day now and I should be able to get it fixed this week. But anyways, this has already been a super random video over the last couple days. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Lots of stuff still coming. We still have another two months left in Okinawa, but it's gonna be cram packed with out processing, getting the house packed up, getting the car shipped off. I, I think the GTR probably only has about a month left here on island. I imagine sometime around the 1st of April, I'll be shipping it off and it'll be heading to the States. So like I said, videos will definitely still be coming from Okinawa, but it's gonna be time crunch time here soon. And I'm excited to get out of here, but I'm also sad to be leaving Okinawa, but still plenty more videos to come. Cars and coffee next weekend and plenty more stuff going on. I can't see the right light on it. Okay. <laughs> so now you can't see the light. You can All right. see black. Go ahead and close this garage up and get inside. Uh, like I told you guys, I've been all over the Fortnite here lately. And, I'm about to play some more. And this game makes me be Mario, guys. And it only makes me be Gold Luigi because that's my favorite Gold. Somehow he incorporates Mario into Fortnite. I don't know how, but he does it. And Gold Luigi is very fast to go Mario and go Yoshi. Anyways, that's it. I will see you guys very soon in the next video. As always, thanks for watching. And I think